Hi, this is Bo Astrup. I wanted to go over a different way of doing Atmos mixes in DP uh, using Fiedler Audio Dolby Atmos Composer. It's a great solution. It's a little bit more simple to set up than using the Dolby Render as the main difference is when you're using the Dolby Atmos Render, it is a separate application that you have to route audio from DP into the renderer which also requires that you have to set up a 70 track or a um, LCC track to send time code to the renderer so you sync the DAW and the renderer. You don't have to do that with Fiedler because Fiedler is totally living inside your DP session. So when you install Fiedler, you get two plugins installed. You get the Dolby Atmos Composer and a plugin called the Beam. So what you're doing is on your master bus, we will insert the Dolby Atmos Composer. And this is what it looks like. So you pretty much you see the same thing. You have the bed and then you have all the objects. It's the same thing. So I'm not going into what Atmos is. There's plenty of videos on that. I'm not going into how you mix Atmos and a lot of this. I'm just talking about how I set it up so I can start working, okay? So the thing is that we have to look at how are we going to listen to this. Um, you can listen to it binaural. So we'll just uh, let it stay there. I don't have to set any external outputs. I could, if I wanted to listen to it on my uh, speakers, I could select my uh, interface there. And you will also set this to 512. Okay. Now, so the way it works is that in order to get audio to this, because Fiedler is basically bypassing the DAW, is that we have to insert beam on every single track that we want to have to go into the composer. So we will insert this on this audio track. Atmos beam, there we go. And here the beam is set up for us. So right now, uh, I have two things that I need to, to select, which is composite of, of objects. Composite means that this track will go to the bed, which uh, Fiedler calls the composite. If I wanted to go to a object, I can select an object. We'll just leave it here for now. We'll go back to the template that I showed in my, my other DP video is. Uh, right out the bat, a um, couple of things. First thing is in DP, in other doors it's happened, but in DP it does not. You see here the beam name does not pick up the track name. So we have to add that track name ourselves. What I do like about Fiedler though, is when we look over here, you can actually see it's already set up. The beam here is already connected. And if I click open beam, it will open the beam. So that's really cool. Uh, however, you saw it open the wrong one. So open beam should Another thing about, so this is the panner you have here, where you can see we have the azimuth and the elevation. You can adjust the spread, means how wide will this, this object be. If you, you look at the way the, the listening position is, now, I've seen a couple of videos where they show they can move this around. They don't tell you what it is, but let me tell you, if you hold down the command key on your Apple keyboard, you can move this around. So basically, this will be my normal position that I prefer to see, because this is basically how I look at my monitors, right? So I have my center, my right, my left, my whites and my rare and my uh, my tops okay so here i can go to right left center top over here or go to the rear now one thing though another thing is that we need to look at which is a 
kind of just a workflow issue that we need to fix. So anyway, to have the beam show up, I do have to time. So I will call it one. And if I can type right, one left. There you go. Now the beam shows up. Now we can see which, which beam it is. Okay. So unfortunately, it doesn't pick up. It does that in other doors. Anyway. So if we play this, let me just loop this. And you know, this is a tone. So let's uh, go down. And by the way, this setup, ha I have also added that in the um, my downloads of the of the actual template that you can open and check with this. And by the way, you can go get a 14 day trial of the uh, Dolby Atmos Composer at Fiedler Audio. Uh, and by the it's also on sale right now. So it's a good time to grab it if you like it. So let's just play this. Okay, you hear it's on the left. And you can see how it moves around. So now if I start playing, you will not hear because of the routing down here. I have routed this one to my master out. So it goes master out. So whatever I do here, sorry, it's very loud. So before we do that, let me just go down because it'll be very loud. So let me just move it down. You hear a slight effect, but it's really not what you want. And you also s note that when I'm using the when I'm using the faders, nothing change. And that is because the volume is actually being handled by this knob here. So in DP, in order to do this right, we will have to move the Dolby uh, Atmos beam. I'll move it down. I like to move it down to the last insert. So if I have compressor or EQ or anything, it will sit before it. And then I have to take this little arrow here, if I can get it, and move right above the beam. And now you see DP doesn't like that. It removes it. So we'll just insert it again. There goes the beam. So I lost the track name. Let's do the composer. the beam name one left now if I play you hear nothing because now it, it's being controlled by the DP mixer so that's very important that you put these post fader but that's that's the main that's the main thing that you have to do with filter uh, else it's working beautiful and we can go over here and look at the other sequence this is where you see this is the same thing as the template I made available for download for the Dolby Atmos render very much very same thing so I have all made them all post fader and that's what it's going to do. And here where I have an object. So if we open the object, you'll see this has been changed an object. And it'll automatically on the composer show us up as an object. It's very cool. Very neat. So now it's muted. So let's unmute. 
you see the object lights up as it should be and I can pan hold down the command key and make the head spin so you can go up front down to the center okay so that's the basic workflow in uh, Fiedler there's a couple of things as I said so one of the, one of the things is you need to make sure to have full working of your mixer that it is a post fader you also have to one thing that i really would like is being able to insert uh, specifically the php oil compressor which is a immersive compressor that, that goes up to 16 channel wide i would love to be able to use that i cannot use that here uh, it won't because right now it's not seeing the insert being a multi-channel insert up here. So even if I insert it up here, it doesn't doesn't work. But that is just something I can take when once we uh, get the get the deliverable, the file out, the ABM file out. I can take it in and and reprocess that and and use the oil compressor there and the oil balancer both those two projects from psp audio are, are, are very very cool to have but this this is the, the way fiddler works basically and it, it works beautiful it has uh, you, you remember from my video on using the dolby atmos renderer there was the issue of the routing to the top speakers where if i routed to one top speaker it would route to both front and back at the same time even though i had a mono bundle not happening because i'm here i'm totally bypassing dp's routing using the fiedler dolby atmos composer and dolby atmos beam so go check it out it's on sale right now and there's a 14 day trial and you can download my template there. So it's already set up for you with test tones and stuff. So you can actually just try to get a feel for how it works. Okay. Enjoy.